The ISDG model includes a variety of advanced tools to support a simulation and analysis of the impact of broad integrated strategies involving multiple policy interventions. Let us continue from the previous example about road construction. Once through this main dashboard page we have analyzed the results of such policy on all the SDGs, we can go back to the policy settings screen and add further interventions. If we check now our policy for road construction, we can see that the level of investment previously introduced is kept and will be simulated again in our new scenario. We can then go back and select another area of intervention. For instance, we can consider investing in sustainable agriculture in addition to the investment in roads previously simulated. In order to do so, we can increase the amount of expenditure for agriculture training, which is currently equal to zero, to 0.2% 0 of GDP. We can do so by adjusting the blue slider, or if we need to input a more precise value, we can directly type such value in the blue cell at the top of the slider, and then press Enter. We can then simply press Run in order to simulate our agriculture training intervention in combination with the previous road construction intervention. We'll call the simulation, once again, Demo. As we land on the main results page, we can immediately see that the progress on Goal 2 has substantially improved with respect to the previous simulation. But how can we know exactly what are the respective contributions of the two policies jointly simulated on the final results obtained? The Synergy Assessment tool was designed to support such analysis. Let us simply click on the progress bars to open such tool. The Synergy Assessment tool indicates, for each area of intervention, the contribution of the interventions made to the progress observed for any indicator. In our case, we can see that the progress for Goal 2 has substantially benefited from our agriculture training intervention, but also to some extent from our intervention on road building. But the Synergy Assessment tool also provides another fundamental information. It indicates a contribution of synergies between two or more interventions on the observed progress. The linear sum of the contribution is in fact smaller than the actual impact obtained when the two interventions are simulated together. In this case, we have a 9% additional contribution from synergies between the two interventions. If we now want to dig deeper in the performance of the indicators of Goal 2, we can click on Goal 2's icon, and then click again on the icon in the top left corner. A table including the relevant indicators covered appears so that we can further our analysis and look at the performance of each SDG indicator. And again, by clicking on the vertical progress bars, we can open the Synergy Assessment tool for such indicator. Finally, going back to the main results page, by selecting Advanced Tools, we open a menu that includes other very practical analytical tools. These include, for example, the dynamic population pyramid to assess demographic growth over time. It also includes a sector view tool which visualizes stock and flow diagrams for each sector, allowing zooming in and looking at the behavior over time for each variable. This is especially useful to study the impact of a given policy on a specific variable or sector. By facilitating the identification of positive and negative synergies, the Synergy Assessment Tool provides important information for the elaboration of effective and coherent strategies to achieve the SDGs. This makes the ISDG model 
a very useful framework to estimate the impact of different policies and their combination on each of the SDGs, helping to create a better understanding of the interconnectedness of the goals.